After more than two years of battling the coronavirus pandemic, the scale of loss is hard to fathom. But an estimated 200,000 children in the United States have felt the direct impact. It's been called the hidden pandemic. Children who have survived the virus but lost at least one parent or caregiver to COVID-19. For an individual child, the milestone is one death, one death of someone close to them, uh, and that is particularly complicated if that's a parent or caregiver. Um, when children lose someone, they lose not only the person, um, and they lose the ability to be with that person. Dr. Schonfeld says children who've lost a caregiver need support, security and stability. Obvious things like a home, schooling and an adult to watch over them, which requires finances. They also need people to recognize their grief. There's often this assumption that children don't grieve, particularly young children don't grieve or they don't understand what's happened. But even very, very young children, even infants, respond to the death of a caregiver, even if they don't understand exactly what's happened. The death of a parent is a stressful life event for a child, with studies showing an increased risk of mental health and psychosocial issues. Yet bereavement is not considered a mental illness. So support groups often don't fall under coverage for health insurance and are instead often run by community or faith-based groups and are sometimes hard to access. Groups like the National Center for School Crisis and Bereavement also provide valuable information to education departments and online to help communities reach out to grieving students. The White House and Congress have spent trillions of dollars supporting people throughout the coronavirus pandemic. But despite its tragic impact, there is as yet no specific law or executive order to help get resources for pandemic orphans. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.